Welcome to this tech tip provided by Imaginet Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher and I'll be going through the tech tip with you today. Now this tech tip is really quite simple, but the effect it can have on your rendered images is very nice. When you're generating a rendered image, you tend to spend most of the time concerned with your model and the shadow and reflection settings that deliver the visual effect you desire. But did you ever consider modifying the background of your render? to provide an additional level of realism or atmosphere. In this tech tip, we will look at a few methods of creating an interactive background for your rendered images. Now Inventor comes with various environmental lighting styles that mimic an interactive background. Inventor allows you to place your model in context of things like an old warehouse, a convention center courtyard, or a country road, and there are several others. The lighting and shadow settings are preset in these environments to produce images that look great with minimal effort. But the issues with this basic methodology are well, they're fairly straightforward. The limited number of lighting environments can restrict your creativity, and the settings for the render are predetermined. In the end, your image will look great, but it will tend to look just like all the other renders you and the vast inventor community are producing on a daily basis. Well, there is certainly a lot that you can do to make your images stand out from all of the others. If you have the extra time necessary, you could create a custom environment of your own by modeling a custom room or scene to act as the backdrop of your render. This does take time, but going the extra mile will often result in a more realistic image. If your design will be installed on board ship, you might consider modeling a typical ship compartment to serve as the backdrop of your image. If your design is being installed during construction of a building, you might model an unfinished wall or concrete slab as the background. The rendering scenarios are endless, but the overall goal is to create a viable and believable environment for your image. The issues with this workflow, well, they're fairly straightforward. Modeling your own environment takes time. The overall effort will pay off in the end, but many of us just don't have the extra time necessary for this process. So realistic backgrounds are very time consuming, but what about an abstract background? Often we simply want to highlight our design similar to the work done by a professional photographer. If you don't have a lot of time and you want your image to truly be unique, you might want to consider modeling a simple abstract backdrop part. If you've ever seen a professional photography studio, you're familiar with the various methods they use to simulate the abstract background with a simple piece of canvas draped from the rear wall onto the floor. Well, there's nothing stopping you from doing the same thing with your renders. Now, Inventor does offer several environmental lighting options that produce similar results to the abstract background we're looking for, like the infinity pool setting or the photo room or the gray room. But we want our images to truly stand apart from all other renders. This process starts by modeling a simple shape to serve as the backdrop of your design. You can model any shape you like depending on the effect you're looking for. For this backdrop, we want to make sure to avoid any sharp corners or edges that would ruin the overall effect. To set up the render, you simply create an inventor assembly and position your design on the backdrop component. You put your view into perspective mode and render away. There really is no end to the creative options available when you make your own custom background. Whether you choose to create a contextual background scene or an abstract backdrop, you'll find that adding some extra effort to the background will go a long way in making your rendered images stand out from all the others. Well, this is going to conclude the tech tip for creating an interactive background for your renders inside of Inventor. I hope you found the contents of this tech tip useful, and the next time you're creating a render, I hope you put them into practice.